John uh, Brumcraft here, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm in a new woods today, which looks quite nice, I haven't been here before. Um, I've come with all my Gucci gear as well, so I'm going to do a hammock camp. Um, I've brought so much stuff, I need to do two trips to the car. So, a uh, little tip, if you get one of these uh, notebooks, just make sure you uh, record your way in and you know where you are. I mean, for example here, there's, um, there's two loads of holly there and there and there's a fallen birch there with a load of polypores on so I know uh, on my way back in I know exactly where I'm camped because it's quite easy to get lost. Just a couple of things guys uh, the reason why I chose this spot is there's an old shitty shelter there which is going to go up in flames in a few hours um, it's a birch woodland as well um, which means that it's acidic soil and birch are notorious for having very weak uh, root systems. So I've picked this spot because I've got the uh, trees the perfect length apart and there's no widow makers up there. Well guys, if you haven't got any spare paracord or you haven't got any pre-tied uh, prussic loops, uh, what you can do is just pull the loop out on your tar, um, get a toggle, put it through the loop, over the paracord and back down and that'll do the job just as well. If you've got a load of spare paracord, um, you can daisy chain it like this. It keeps it nice and tidy, you know, and it looks cool, man. Okay, guys, um, hammock suspension system. I've got tree huggers, which are larks headed around this birch, um, down to a climbing grade crab, and two repelling rings. Uh, I've, if you're using uh, a green hornet like I am, you're going to have to mod the hornet because um, you're going to have to put on this 6mm uh, dynamic climbing rope onto it. What you do is you thread the rope through once and through and then you split the rings like that and you put it through again and bob your uncle. When you've got it the way that you want it, you can just do a simple stop and knot. And that's not going anywhere. Well, guys, this is the uh, Pro Force SF um, Tomahawk. It's amazing, man. I call it my uh, go bag now. I've got stuff, I've got daisy chains all over it and cordage everywhere. I've modded it a bit as well. Uh, basically, this is my go bag. So this is what uh, I'm going to take everywhere now. And then if I go hammock camping, I'm going to take an additional bag with my hammock stuff in. It just keeps it easier as well. Um, I'm changing the style as well, that I'm how I'm doing this. Because uh, I'm naturally quite messy, I'm a bit disorganised. Um, this is really modular, so everything, I've got everything in its place. And as I go about my day, as I need something, I'll put it, when I finish with it, I'll put it exactly back in its place. And uh, it just helps me keep more organised. And if I um, have to get out quick in the morning, everything's in its place. Missed you, old friend. Uh, this is a DD 3x3 and Coyote Brown. Uh, I've got it in a diamond configuration purely because um, when you have it in a normal sort of rectangular configuration with uh, a green hornet, it doesn't quite cover your feet, but you'll have, you'll have wet on the edges. So last time I was uh, I was out, I got caught by that. So I've done it in a diamond. Um, but the problem is you have less loops, you know, you've got one loop at each end and one in the middle, so it's there's quite a bit of sag on it. So I don't know if uh, any of you guys out there have, um, can recommend any alternative sort of diamond configuration tarps or a way of um, killing that sag. Because I've got, uh, ju I've just <laughs> emptied one huge rain bollock on there and I've got a feeling there's going to be a few tonight. These are uh, Primrose edible um, springtime flower in the UK. Uh, they taste a bit like honey. So I'm gonna grab a few now and uh, let them fortify my uh, dinner a bit later on. 
just spotted. Daldina Concentrica. You take only what you need and you leave the rest. This is a horse's hoof fungus fun fum and tear or fun fum and tear, yes, I don't know which one of the two it is. Um, I've only ever seen it growing on birch. I believe it only does grow on birch. Um, I don't need him anyway and you really have to dry him out to get the uh, maximum effect. So I'm going to leave him to do his job. This is an ancient woodland, uh, that means that it's existed prior to the year uh, 1600. So that's the definition of an ancient woodland. And, and a really good indicator of the woodland being ancient is the existence of holly. Uh, another thing with holly is uh, generally the further up the tree you get, the smoother the, um, the leaves are. They've got less spikes on them, if you see there. Um, it's an internal defence mechanism with holly. So if you see holly that's next to a road that's been um, chopped down quite a lot, it's generally really, really spiky. Um, when you go into the woodland and you look further up the tree, um, it's a lot smoother. Looking for a little bit of relief now on this rain. Just a few hours, man. It's been chucking it down all day, and I'm soaked through. Every, I'm completely soaked. My socks are soaked. My trousers are soaked. Everything, man. So I'm worrying if this uh, fire reflector is going to be in vain. I'm just going to show you this um, 
little cook set that I've put together. Uh, it's a combat PLC utility pouch and then just a normal pouch on the back and then mollied together. It's a Zebra Billet as usual and an IKEA cook stove. Um, it's a 12 centimetre billy, so the cook stove, uh, stove just fits really nicely inside it. Um, if you take the handles off, which is cool, and you've got a load of space in there as well, and you can use that just to do a cup of tea. Uh, this uh, wax buddy burner has been going now for about 15-16 minutes. Um, it's carbonised the shit out of the pot, uh, but that doesn't matter really, just clean it up when I'm back. But yeah, I'll rate them man. Mad crew rating. Got some of the uh, logs from that old crappy shelter there, uh, but they're really punky man, I mean they're soaked through to the middle. So I think I'm going to do an upside down fire and use them as the base. And uh, here's a nice uh, birch I took down about half an hour ago. And I'm just taking another one out now. You've got three trees here, well three limbs on one tree. And it's come down in one go. So I'm just taking that limb at the moment. Well, I've left it a bit late in the day, um, but I've hooked up a drip line here using a highwayman's hitch which basically just collapses on itself um, and paracord straight down there into the container. What we got cooking here of some bacon some primrose which is going to go into Moroccan couscous and a chai latte Morning guys, I had a fantastic night's sleep. It was really nice, uh, really comfortable. Um, I've got my pillow, I've got my snug pack uh, under blanket. The fire went on till about three in the morning. Uh, so the fire went on for seven hours, all in, which is fantastic. I uh, just had a really good night's sleep. I was woken up uh, about four o'clock uh, by a deer barking. Uh, the fire lay that I had, that's the way forward now for me. Uh, the upside down fire, I love them anyway, uh, but having the uh, fire break at the back, that obviously caught and then that gave me sort of dried out uh, wood on either side that was quite punky and wet to start with. So that basically gave me fuel um, all during the night, so that's the way forward for me now. I'm just trying this out, I'm frying these eggs in uh, coconut oil, um, I think I can use coconut oil on my um, on my leather work and also on my knife, So um, and it tastes amazing as well, so here it is, get a little Nalgene. That's lovely, 
Guys, thanks for joining me on this video. Uh, I'm going to strike camp now after I finish this. So uh, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already uh, liked it, like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again soon.